In this video, we will show you how to file a common carrier's report of cigarette deliveries. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to our website, cdtfa.ca.gov, and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the Online Services Login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services Login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page, under the Accounts tab, we will click on the Cigarette Common Carrier hyperlink. This will take us to the Cigarette Common Carrier account page. Under the Periods tab, find the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the month of April 2022, which is displayed by its return end date of April 30, 2022. Click on the File Return hyperlink. This brings us to the Initial Questions page. Select yes or no to the question, did you deliver any interstate or foreign shipment of cigarettes to a consignee in California? In this example, we have made deliveries and will select yes. You will then be asked how you would like to add the common carrier's report of cigarette deliveries. Your options are manually or upload an Excel workbook. First, we will show you how to add the report manually and then we will show you how to upload an Excel workbook. To add the report manually, we will select Manually. Click Next to continue. On the Common Carrier's Report of Cigarette Delivery page, click on the Add a Record hyperlink to enter your deliveries. A window will appear and you must enter all required information to proceed. Enter the required information and then click Add. The record will now appear in the table. You can add more records by clicking Add a Record. You can also edit the record by clicking the pen and paper icon, copy the record with the clipboard icon, or delete the record with the paper and red X icon. Now we will show you how to add the report by uploading an Excel workbook. We recommend uploading an Excel workbook if you have numerous transactions. On the Initial Questions page, select Upload an Excel Workbook. Next, you will need to complete and upload the report. We have developed an Excel template that you can use to enter your transactions for the report. To download the template, click here. The Excel template file will be downloaded onto your computer. Open the file. The Excel template file has two tabs, Cigarette Delivery and Template Instructions. In the Template Instructions tab, you will find general information about completing the Cigarette Delivery tab. You will need to enter the required information in the Cigarette Delivery tab. After entering the required information, save the Excel file onto your computer. After saving the file onto your computer, return to the Initial Questions page. Click on the Upload Report button. A window will appear to upload the file. Click on the Choose File button to navigate to the file on your computer. Select the Excel file and upload it into our system. Next, click the Upload button. Please note, there will be no indication on this page that your report has been uploaded. The uploaded report will be available to review on the next page. Click Next to continue. The transactions in the report you uploaded are now in the table. Review the information. If there are errors with your information, you will see a hyperlink for Show Errors at the top of the table. Next to the Transactions with Errors, you will see a paper and exclamation point icon indicating a correction is needed. Click on the icon. The fields with errors will be highlighted red. Next to the errors, you will see a message indicating the issue. Make the necessary corrections. After correcting the error, click the OK button to update the transaction. If there are no more errors, the Show Errors hyperlink will disappear. Click the Next button to continue filing. On the Your Information page, review the pre-filled information and make changes if necessary. 
When all required fields are completed, click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your report is true, correct, and complete. Please read this information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This page represents a confirmation of your report filing. Please take note of your confirmation number. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. You can also share your feedback by clicking on the Online Services Survey button. Your opinion counts. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.